In this lesson, you will learn some ways to interact with the generated graph. Until the last lesson, you have learned few ways to plot the graph and those graphs are static in nature, right? Meaning you can't interact with the data. Uh, for example, you cannot zoom into a specific portion of the plot or you cannot pan the graph. Zooming in and out along the x and y axis were not possible. Stepping back and forth over the changes made and so on were not possible in case of static graph. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification for all our future video updates. Now in this lesson, you will learn some of the method where you can use, you can make use of certain feature in Jupyter Notebook as well as in Matplotlib to interact with the graph. So you will be able to interact with the graph with the help of some magic function supported by Jupyter's kernel. So when it comes to interactive plotting, the Jupyter Notebook support a few magic function associated with Matplotlib and one of them is Matplotlib Notebook. So what exactly it does, it enables the interactive plot for usage with IPython Notebook and in very simple term, it is basically it enables some control buttons beneath the generated graph so that you can use those button to interact with the graph. For example, you can zoom the graph across x and y axis, you can pan the graph, you can save the image and you can move backward and forward steps what, whatever you have performed during the data visualization. And there is a static button where you can even go back to the original graph mode, right? So in the previous chapter you had learned to generate a scatter plot, right? So we are taking example of the same scatter plot which was static. So no interaction was possible in the previous graph. As you can see here, this graph which you have generated in the last lesson, that is pretty static. No interaction possible. Now, you will learn a new way to plot the same scatter plot along with the possibility of interaction with the data. Let's get started by generating an interactive plot in Jupyter Notebook and see how you can interact with the graph. Right now I'm in Jupyter Notebook and you can see and the same code which we have used in the last lesson and here I have imported matplotlib.pyplot as plt and then numpy as np right and additionally you can see here this magic function which is matplotlib notebook make sure to use this block or this code uh, specifically at the top portion of the cell so that it actually creates a backend for the graph to be visualized right so it's a be best practice to keep them up in the, in the code even you can declare at the first line of the cell right and uh, similarly we have generated some random variable 100 variables from x and 100 variables from y. These two are the variables which holds this value, right? And we made some calculation. This is already known to you. Now, our intention is to create a graph which which we can interact with, right? Writing this magic function in inside a cell will enable us to interact with the data. Let's generate, let's execute this code and see what we get. So when you execute this graph, you'll get the similar image or rather than plot which you have seen earlier but if you pay attention closely at the bottom of this graph there are some controllers or you can say buttons these buttons are available because of writing this magic function which is matplotlib notebook by writing this you have enabled the backend in interactive mode right so what these buttons are there for okay so let's start with the first one so this is to save the plot. In case if you wanted to save this as an image, you can click over here and this graph is generated. I mean this image is generated and you can right click and save this image, right? Okay, this is the one options that you have in the interactive graph. As you can see here, when we hover over the mouse, you can see the X and Y coordinates here. Here you will see X and Y coordinates are getting changed, right? As you can see, it, it moves around X axis and when you move up, it moves along the y-axis. And at any point of time, you get the coordinate of the mouse cursor. All right. This is also a part of interactive uh, feature. The second one is this zoom feature. When you hover over the mouse, you can see the description. Zoom to rectangle x, y-axis. Control fixes the aspect. So what it means? Let's say 
when you click this button you are now into zoom mode and you can sp select a specific portion to be viewed in zoomed mode you can zoom in through this one and this portion is visible you can further zoom into as much as level you want right it is possible to zoom in now since you have zoomed this you wanted to get back to the original position also so you can do it in two way either step by step so let's say you have taken five or four step to come to this place and again you can go back by using step back option one step back another step back another step back another step back and you are to the original position right this button is grayed out no more back step is possible and similarly you can also move ahead to the same step that you performed so it keeps in, into the memory that what you have done here so again you can go back to the same position by this moving from uh, moving this key towards back and forth right i hope you understand so this is the function of these two as you can see here zoom to rectangle right so uh, just hold the mouse button left button and then create a portion this portion will be visible in the entire canvas right but when you hold down the control key and zoom the aspect ratio will be same so that means now the x and y aspect would be maintained now uh, this home button will make the default or whatever the first instance of the image that was generated or first instance of the graph that was generated it will move the uh, view of the graph to that particular position if i click on home button this is the 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 previous or the first version of the graph that we have seen right additionally you also see a pan button so what it does it basically allow you to pan the portion like you can pan across x axis you can pan across y axis just by holding the mouse button left button right as the description of this button says left button pans so i have clicked on left button and when i'm clicking left button and dragging left and right it is panning basically across x axis and y axis right y axis now there is another function which is right button zoom so when you click on the right mouse button and pan across x axis you can see here i'm i'm holding right button and panning across this x axis towards right and again left as you can see here this is zoomed out and this is zoomed in across x axis similarly when you move to the vertical along the vertical lines it is zoom in towards upward and zoom out towards downward and additionally if you press control button the aspect ratio is maintained meaning the x and y will have the same aspect ratio as you can see here i'm holding my right mouse button and as well as the control button right you can easily perform my intention is just to make you aware that, that these are the functionality which are available which makes user interaction with the data very easy and seamless all right this is not applicable to 2d graph only it is also applicable to uh, 3d uh, graph where you can visualize the uh, graph across all the possible angles right you can also perform that and you are going to see them in the later section of this course okay so that's it for this video i hope you understand and uh, thank you so much for joining with me in this one i will see you in the next lesson